Okay, so I'm going to do a comparison between a Galaxy S4 G, a Galaxy S2, a Galaxy S3, and a Galaxy S4. These are all the T-Mobile phones. None of them have been rooted. They're all running a OEM or T-Mobile pushed out ROM. Um, so let's go ahead and go through some of the settings. Um, when I do these tests, people ask if I have power settings on, what version of the OS I'm running, and everything else. Um, so let's, on the Galaxy S, go to settings, and this is running 2.3.6, and power setting, or power savings is uh, disabled, alright, and on the Galaxy S2, we have version 4.0.3, Okay. Power settings is disabled. Or power savings is disabled. Galaxy S3. We are running 4.1.2, which is actually just pushed out today over the air from T-Mobile. And then on the Galaxy S4, it is running the uh, original ROM that it shipped with which is 4.2.2 okay so I'm gonna run two different benchmarks um, and first thing I want to do is restart the phones so that we're starting with a fresh clean slate this phone you have to power it off and then turn it back on Okay, Galaxy S2, we have a restart, Galaxy S3, okay, done, three's done, all right, okay, so now I'm going to run a quadrant test on all three phones, um, they're all running the same version, let's go ahead and start it up, verify they're all running the same version, they're all running version 2.1.1. Alright, so let's go ahead and run a full benchmark test and compare them across the board. Even though the Galaxy S4 was started last, looks like it's ahead. Getting 58 frames per second on the stairs. 59. Alright, now the 3 is running, and it's getting 51 on the stairs, kind of fluctuating there. Let's see what it gets on the planet. About 50 on the Galaxy S2 on the stairs. Wow, and the 4 is already finished. That was very quick. Alright, so the Galaxy S4 scored a 12,523. That seems like a lot. Alright, Galaxy S3 scored a 6,054. And the 2. Um, oh, there it is. It scored a 3,651. So, 3,600 approximately. 6,000. And then 12,500. 
pretty big difference. Just about double every generation. And of course the S hasn't finished yet, so I'm guessing it's going to score like a 1500 or something real low. Wow, this thing's taking forever. All right, finally finished. All right, the Galaxy S 4G scored 1150, so 1150. So about a third of the Galaxy S2. So there you have it. Once again, we have 1150. We have 3,651, and we have 6,054, and then the 12,523. So that's the benchmark.